Hey guys, it's Will. And last month, uh, between two of the companies that I own, uh, my e-learning company and my consulting company, uh, I made $819,000 in top line revenue with a revenue to cash ratio of 62.9%. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the two key things uh, that actually allowed us to achieve that. Plus, I've added a bonus in at the end that uh, if you own a business currently, this will help you to not only raise profitability, uh, but also collect more cash and scale your revenue immediately. So make sure that you watch the whole video today uh, so that you don't miss that, because I'm really excited to share that with you. And just before we do get into the video, guys, I spend a lot of time, a lot of energy, uh, and a lot of money in making these videos for you, and I share all of the value for free. So all I ask in return is that you please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you know anybody who would benefit from this video, please just send it to them, pass it along uh, with a recommendation. The goal of this YouTube channel for me is to help great companies to reach the heights that they should be at. That's my mission, uh, that's what guides this channel uh, going into the future. Please do that for me and I'd be very appreciative. So let's dive into the video. Now, to begin with, let me just clarify uh, what I mean by top line revenue, because I know that some of you are probably thinking like, wow, $819,000 in one month. Are you serious? How the hell did you do it? So on and so forth. So for context, again, I'm combining the income from my e-learning company and also my consulting company as well. Let's say that we sell a $10,000 product with 2.5% of that being cash that's actually collected. That comes to 10,000 in revenue, top line revenue, with 2.5 of that being cash collected. And of course, that equals a revenue to cash ratio of 25%. So just for clarity there, revenue means total sales volume. Cash collected actually means the cash that hit the bank account or the payment processor itself. And the revenue to cash ratio is how much cash have you actually collected as a percentage of your top line revenue. I know that there's, there's probably a few skeptics watching this thinking, is this real? Is this true? Is this some random guy on the internet talking talking nonsense? So I just want to come in here to our high roast tracking software. And inside this software, we track cash collected, revenue generated, and advertising spend as well. And you can see here for the month of April, so last month, uh, we spent 141K on ads. Uh, we collected 584K uh, in top line revenue. And just to caveat this, this number does not include bank transfers or crypto payments that we receive either. So there's roughly a tiny bit of money that, that's missing here. But if we come over here to our ad tracking spreadsheet, the accurate month end number that we actually ended on was 658,064 pounds. Please ignore the dollar sign. This is great British pounds here. We can see that as of today's exchange rate, uh, that now comes to $800. Uh, $19,000 as of the day that I actually make this uh, YouTube video and the current exchange rate at the time. Let me share with you the two key things that have allowed us to scale this far. So let's get into it with point number one, squeezing our ad spend rather than actually scaling our ad spend. Now, this is something that I always tend to work on whenever I coach business owners uh, who want to scale further but that are stuck and, and can't quite seem to, to, to do so. And it's almost always because they're trying to scale their spend rather than squeezing the spend that they're currently deploying. And what I mean is doing email correctly, doing SMS correctly, uh, using appointment setters correctly. And trust me, I've made every mistake in the, in the book trying to do this stuff all, all over the years. A lot of learning, a lot of mistakes, a lot of re refinements along the way. But we've now got this down to a fine art in, in the companies that I own. And I'll share this as well. So of the $819,000 that we actually made last month, honestly, roughly 36% of that is thanks to the methods that we actually use here to squeeze the, the ad spend that we're currently deploying. Honestly, guys, when I plug this stuff into uh, the businesses of the guys that I coach and mentor and who I help to, to grow their businesses, the difference that this makes in cash, in revenue, in growth is honestly, it's, it's almost an instant. It's ridiculous how big an impact 
uh, this stuff can have. So let me give you a real tangible example of the stuff that I'm, that I'm talking about, okay? So one thing that we do, the minute that a lead opts into the funnel is put them into an auto SMS stream and the person on the other end of that is one of the two people on our setting team. That setter will then have a back and forth conversation via SMS with them. They'll work out why they're here, can we help them? Do they have a problem that we actually solve? If they do, they'll then give them a call on the phone, re-vet them again, one-to-one, -one, in, in person, of course. And then if they feel like they're a good fit, they'll then set them on the calendar for a member of the sales team to actually speak to and, and have a conversation with. If they're a good fit, they'll then bring them into the program from there. And these set calls, they close at an extremely high rate because they're so well looked after. They've been spoken to across a, a couple of different mediums and they're just generally a great fit for, for what we do. And on top of that, uh, after they fall into the setter uh, SMS stream, they also automatically go into what we call our book a call contingency stream as well. And this is just a backup to make sure that if they haven't seen the VSL, for example, they go back to that. Uh, they haven't booked a call yet and they should. And we also do push them to that, that calendar as well as a backup. And if they aren't booked on the calendar, uh, within 14 days, they then go into two other uh, backup contingency streams. So number one, uh, they then go into an email setter. So this is the second setter that's, uh, that's currently on our team. And that setter will kind of do the same thing, but via email, then via phone. And they go into what we call our value email sequence as well. Uh, and this is, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a monster of a stream. And within that, uh, they get uh, basically value emails, book a call prompts, and VSL prompts as well, just to touch on every single base, every single contingency, and just always send them back to, to where we want them to be within the sales process. <laughs> this stuff is deep. This is the result of, God, years and years of trial and error and testing and learning. So if this stuff sounds a little bit uh, intense, if it's kind of going over your, your head a little bit, look, don't worry, you'll, you'll learn this stuff with time. I'm, I'm handing it over here for you. But this is really the stuff that separates the, uh, the, the smaller operators from the much larger operators within uh, the, the, the business niche, the online business niche. This is what the half a million a month guys, the one million per month guys are, are doing differently. So that's point number one. Next, let's move into point number two, and that's team culture. Okay, now look, <laughs> I know that this sounds cheesy, I know that this sounds like a, a cliche, right? I know that, but I swear to God, if your team are truly great, if they are A players, if they are all rowing in the same direction, you will grow fast and it will be much easier and a lot more fun as well. Honestly, my team feel like friends. They feel like family to me. In fact, we actually did our first team holiday recently. So I flew my whole team out to Dubai, uh, paid for their flights, put them in really nice hotels, took them out on a, on a yacht, uh, took them to some nice dinners and, and other bits and bobs just to build great culture uh, within us. And it was just so awesome to have everybody out here in real life instead of on Zoom for, for once and, and staring through a screen. We seriously care about each other. We care about our customers, our, our client results. We even celebrate our customers' wins uh, within certain communication channels that, that we have within our organization. You know, if someone gets a great result, if someone gives us great feedback, we celebrate that. And because of that, work doesn't really feel like work. You know, I mean, making this video for you guys, uh, working with my team, working on the, the products that we sell, it's not hard work. It's, it, it's fun, it's fulfilling, it's rewarding. You know, I, I just love it. And because of that, you know, as a team, we can set targets like $819,000 in, in one month. And we can actually get there and hit that. And for any of you uh, operators out there that are a little bit further ahead, that are wondering about uh, maybe what's our team uh, churn rate, the turnover rate, it's incredibly low. In fact, in the last six years of every single member of the team, we've only ever had one person leave us and they actually recently asked for their job back as well. So the, uh, the, the team turnover is incredibly low. Only hire great people who you love them, they love you, they're rowing in, in the same direction as, as the rest of the team and overpay them for their work as well. So we have uh, one of the highest commission rates in, in our whole industry for, for our sales team. And 
my ethos is just to treat people how I'd want to be treated. You know, I feel like I work very, very hard. And if I did work for somebody else, I'd want to go above and beyond for them and hopefully receive above and beyond compensation for it. And I know that a lot of A players feel that way. So if you find someone who's really great, loves what they do, and they're just a good culture fit, look after them, overpay them, fly them out on, on bloody team holidays and stuff like that, and just really look after them. And that creates this just awesome positive feedback loop because they're happy, that means your customers are happy, and the rest of the team are happy, and so on and so forth. So hire the best people that you can and just watch how fast your business grows. Lastly, guys, uh, here is the, the bonus that I promised you, and this is just for business owners. But right now, I want you to pause this video and I want you to pull up your numbers from last month, okay? Specifically, your top line revenue and your cash collected. And I want you to take a look at what is your current uh, revenue to cash ratio as a percentage. So if you made, let's say, 100K last month in revenue, 75% of that was cash collected. Of course, your ratio is uh, 75%. Now, here's something that I learned from one of my mentors, a guy called Cole Gordon. And I actually learned this from him uh, when I was in his mastermind last year. He taught me that if your revenue to cash ratio is uh, 50%, well, above 50%, uh, he would say that your price is too low and you're probably not getting your offer structure right when you're on sales calls. And what he means by that is, you know, let's say you make, again, 100K per month and you collect something ridiculous like 90K in cash. Your price is too low. It really is too low. So bring your price up, maybe offer, you know, further payment plans. So if you're only doing one and two pays, go out to a three pay, go out to a four pay and just nudge that price up. So let's say you're charging 3K right now. Put that up to four, maybe look at your offer structure, maybe kind of play with your, your payment plan structure, just see what happens. And I almost guarantee you, because we've done this many times across the years, nothing will change. You will just make more money. You will just be more profitable on the, the front end and you're gonna grow your business. Seriously, guys. This will 100% or as close to that as you can physically get, make you more money and simply allow you to scale further. Uh, what you're going to do here, the way that this works is, uh, grab that cash to revenue ratio that I just mentioned, look at where you're at, and if that is high, raise your price, okay? If you're at the, I mean, use, use common sense, use discretion here, guys, or if you're at 60%, you know, you're probably charging seven, eight, nine, 10 K already, and that might be solid. That might be the sweet spot. If it is, go and work on your back end. But for most people watching this video, I'd suspect that that ratio is probably gonna be quite high. It might be 70, 80, 90% in some cases. And if it is, again, you now know what to do. Reevaluate your offer structure, raise your price. And again, this is just gonna make you more money and allow you to scale further. I'm aware that there's a couple of people out there that, well, I'm sure there's many people out there that are charging very low prices and, and selling things on the phone in a high ticket kind of manner. Now, let me just say this, if your price is anything below, I would say 3K range, get it up. You know, if you're charging something ridiculously tiny, like $500, for God's sakes, work on your program, make that thing better, make it as valuable as, as you can possibly make it and charge an appropriate price. So let me say this, if your program truly works, if it truly gets people results, charge a price like it actually gets people results. And this whole thing that I'm talking about here, using the revenue to cash ratio to understand this stuff, to know where to go next. It's just a very simple, easy way to grow your business. And guys, there's a ton of these strategies as well. In fact, this is the stuff that I work on when I coach business owners and help them grow their companies and really scale to the heights that they should be at. Because God, I've learned all this stuff the hard way. I know what works, I know what doesn't. We use the best of it in our companies and that's what's actually allowed us to scale as far as we have and achieve the numbers like $819,000 in a single month. And here's the thing, guys. If right now you're at 50K per month, you know, 100K per month, something that, again, is, is quite small in the grand scheme of things, you probably simply just don't know what you don't know. I'll end on this very important note. If you want to scale to big numbers, the hack is actually quite simple. Find someone who's done it and just copy them. Guys, it really is that simple. Get them to share their tips, their tactics, their strategies with you, whoever it is that you ask, 
and the growth that you see from that will be phenomenal. It really will. 